okay any doubts from last class can you hope all you understand arithmetic operators so what are the points we discussed in arithmetic operator the symbol plus minus into division modulo are called arithmetic operators these operators are used for calculations the plus is used for addition minus is used for subtraction uh into is used for multiplication division is used for division modulo is used for finding remainder the allowed operator operands types are byte sort int long flow double care array class type objects are not allowed array and boolean array class type objects are not allowed we can use a string object only with plus operator it is not allowed with the other operators the result type coming out from all operand operators in int okay i don't say int it is a it's a uh, i don't say int it is a numeric the operators into division modulo are having first precedence and the same operators um, will have the same precedence and same same precedence the operators plus minus are having next and same precedence plus is a overloaded operator okay plus is a overloaded operator can be used as addition and as concatenation if both operands are either number or char or both it act as a addition operator Uh, if at least one operand is string it act as a concatenation operator and all further plus operators are also act as a concatenation operator after concatenation of oper concatenation operator if we have minus operator we will get compiled error but we don't get compiled error for into division and modulo 1 by 2 value is not 0.5 it is 0 int by int is int but not double 22 by 7 is 3 but not 3.14 we cannot divide a integer number by integer 0 it leads to exception arithmetic exception we can use all above operators expressions only either we can use all above operators expressions only either a variable assignment or as a method argument or as method return type means all addition subtraction multiplication operations operator expressions okay you cannot use as a single statement if you try to use as a single statement compiler will throw error okay we cannot use as a single statement like assignment operator it must be part of either variable assignment or method argument or as method return type okay rule what the rule boolean string array class objects are not allowed as operand just i am reminding once again next cannot use cannot be used as a single statement these are the two rules you have to remember so these are all the points we discussed let us test okay last point we have not tested let us try to complete Seventeenth point as a single statement. Hmm. Look at here. I am writing ten plus twenty as a single statement. Directly, I have written like this. Is it allowed or not allowed? Not allowed. Compiler will throw error. Not a statement. Okay. Uh, now, how can I use ten plus twenty? you can must use either as a variable assignment something called int uh, q p q r equal to some i am writing 10 plus 20 it is allowed okay next i am using as a method argument what the method argument system dot out dot print ln of 10 plus 20 it is allowed okay and next i am using as a my own method m1 then tell me if you want to pass 10 plus 20 as argument to your own method m1 uh, bolo this should be static method void method and m1 of parameterized method what type of parameter 10 plus 20 expression result type is int so m1 method parameter also should be int int uh, some value let's say x whatever int p open bracket closed bracket and you can display that p value system dot out dot print ln of uh, p the next 
I want to take static return type is int m2, open bracket, closed bracket. Now I'm writing return, 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 yeah, sorry, 10, 10, return 10 plus 20. So look at their program compiled successfully and executed. We got output 30, 30. So can I hope you caught clarity on these points? Tell me here, println method is also background parameterized method, na? which parameter method executed? I told you println method has a nine forms, totally 10, 10, I guess, okay, 10 forms are there, right? 10 overloaded forms, which parameter method executed here? Println of int parameter method is executed. Okay, so this is the complete story about arithmetic operators and its precedence order, everything. Uh, I hope you everybody is comfortable. So arithmetic operators compulsory can expect two to three questions in exam, written test exam. Okay. Can you tell me here I'm writing one small statement. I'm creating a class called A. Okay. And inside I'm writing some int x equal to 10. Bolo. I'm writing A A1 equal to new A. A, A2 equal to new A. Can I use assignment operator with reference data types? Yes. Can I use a plus operator with reference data type? A, A3 equal to A1 plus A2. Can I use plus operator with reference data type? Is it allowed? What the meaning of this statement? What is the meaning of that statement? Add A1 value and A2 value, generate new value stored in A3. A1 value 10, 10. A2 value 20, 20. 10, 10 plus 20, 20, 30, 30. Store 30, 30 in A3 variable. Then A3 variable should point to whom? Is it a mathematical value? If it is a mathematical value, you can store. It's a meaningful, 30, 30 is meaningful. But A3 is a reference. Reference means it should point into an object. So am I allowed to use any of the operators, any of the five arithmetic operators on our own class reference type data type? No. If you try, compiler will throw error. So you are allowed to use, uh, what do you call, you are allowed to use on reference data types, you are allowed to use assignment operator, but arithmetic operators are not allowed. And if you want to use a reference data type, only string reference data type is allowed, that too only with the plus operator. So these are the points you have to once again remind yourself. Not only class, array is also not allowed. Okay, that's the rule number one. Rule number one, Boolean, string, array, class objects are not allowed as operands. String is allowed only with plus operator and cannot be used as single statement. These are the two rules. Now let's move to the next topic, increment and decrement operators. Now tell me, what are the points we must learn with every operator? With every operator, we must use, with every operator, you must learn these are the points. Okay, with every operator, you must use these points. Just read once, what type of operator? What type of operator? Increment. What are the increment and decrement operators? Increment and decrement operators. Increment decrement operators are calculation operators. They are used for and what the use of them? What are the increment decrement operators? They are calculation operators. Number two. Why increment decrement operators are what the use of it? What the use of, what the use of increment decrement operators. Increment decrement operators are used for increasing a, num a value by one and a decreasing a value by one. Exactly one value you want to increase and exactly one value you want to decrease, you must use increment decrement operators. Okay, let us try to, let us try to develop the program. Several test cases are coming. Horrible test cases, confusion test cases, please concentrate.
now i am creating a variable int a equal to 10 now i am writing uh what is the a value here i am writing a okay then after that i am writing a plus plus control one compile compile successfully control two look at the value 10 coming now after this a plus plus i am writing again a it is increased by one control one control two, 11 okay it is increased exactly by one next i am taking another variable another variable b okay b variable i am displaying with value 10 only now i am taking okay let me take same statement copy paste so then i am writing here b minus minus sopl and b and sopl and b control one look at that b value first b value is first 10 and it decreased by one it is nine control one control two, nine okay tell me what is the difference between arithmetic plus operator minus operator and increment plus plus decrement minus minus arithmetic operator plus and minus you can use for increasing and decreasing values increasing and decreasing values according to your program your wish you can increase by whatever the value you like and you can decrease by whatever the value you like but you know plus plus and minus minus increment decrement operators are decreasing increasing exactly by one value where we use this increment decrement operator maximum maximum will use increment decrement operator with loops okay so in the loop concept for loop while loop do while loop we will use increment and decrement operators maximum okay fine uh, what is the use of increment and decrement operators okay now tell me uh, how many how many increment decrement operators we have and what are they we have two increment decrement operators plus plus and minus minus now very important we have increment operator decrement operator post increment and post increment and pre increment post decrement and pre decrement okay what the meaning of next point what is the meaning of tell me these are what type of operators increment decrement operators are what type of operators they are unary unary means how many operands they will take only one operand it will take look at their a a one operand only it will take okay the next how many increment decrement increment and decrement operators we have we have two increment operators and two decrement operators what are they uh, what is the use of post increment and post pre increment okay you can say this one here what the use of pre increment and post increment operators and the next uh, sixth point what is the use of pre decrement and post decrement sorry post decrement operators uh, come on tell me the word itself is telling what pre and post prepaid post paid okay prepaid post paid hello tell me current bill you are prepaying or post paying current bill current bill you are prepaying or post paying hey, somebody is telling that current bill is prepaying oh my god without using you are paying a current bill bangar konda Emma, uh, very intelligent people Rav. Very simple question I have asked by prepaying current bill you are prepaying how much you are paying prepaying current bill is post paying first you are using then paying water bill you are using then paying house rent you are using then paying right some owners are there prepayment asking advance payment why because suddenly if you work at the home or somewhere else you go then the problem and next now 
this month suddenly you told and the next month uh, they don't get money na so current bill water bill all these are what prepayment uh, if you take mobile recharge there are two types of mobile recharge prepayment and post payment right you can do both and uh, first you pay and use for one month first you use and at end you pay how much you use that much you pay tell me our class is prepayment or post payment our class is middle payment <laughs> our class is not prepayment not post payment our class is what a middle payment <laughs> yes or no why after one week class has completed you did payment no right before starting class you didn't pay after class completing you are not paying in the middle you are paying na <laughs> that's why it is called what middle payment but we have middle payment operators yeah the middle payment operators are what are binary operators na right by default every binary operator is middle payment <laughs> right and then come to the point now now i want to ask a question okay listen carefully what is the meaning of pre and post payment pre increment post increment means i am writing one statement like this a plus plus this is pre na post pre increment or post increment post after operand if i use then this is called post increment if you write a variable after operand you are writing after operator then is called what pre increment what the meaning of pre increment here two operations are there first increment and then use in place of use i want right read value first increment and then read value comma use in this expression please don't uh, bns don't be in a mindset that don't be in a mindset that ah, already i know okay don't be in a mindset that already i know okay careful careful it's a confusion point always come to the class with a mindset i don't know anything so that you will understand everything easily and tell me a plus plus meaning is what first read first read substitute in expression first read excuse me <clears throat> substitute first read value first read value substitute in expression then increment okay now tell me in a pre increment expression is evaluated with original value or increased value come on sir expression is executed with with expression executed with incremented value now tell me now here expression is executed with a uh, old value very very important very very important if you don't accept understand these statements you know become very tough for you to answer correct correctly give answer okay you cannot give correctly so that's why please focus uh, now tell me you, you only you prepare the meaning complete step step 1 step 2 step 3 okay uh, now you only prepare for minus minus i will wait i want you prepare yourself minus 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 you only work uh, now tell me minus minus a means first increment first increment the value increase the value by 1 and then read the increased value that is used in the expression uh, increase means increase place what do you write now decrease first decrease the value and then read value decreased value you read use this in expression means expression is executed with decreased value next a minus minus means first read value first read value substitute in expression then decrease expression is executed with old value <coughs> oh 
okay all right now i want you answer okay i'm just leaving those statements as it is i'm taking another new variables int x equal to 10 into y equal to 20 okay now i am writing system dot out dot println x and then i am writing x plus plus okay system dot out dot println x okay next i am writing okay first you tell me what is the output you will get here what is the first x value first x value is what first x value is 10 okay then x plus plus then x value how much control 1 11 control 2 10 11 okay now i am taking y variable now y in place of plus plus x plus plus i am writing plus plus y y what is the output you will get now here y value 20 y value 20 plus plus y y what is the output you will get 21 21 21 right or 20 20 20 or 21 what the value you will get some people are telling 20 20 22 oh my god Control 1, control 2, 20, 21. Then where is the difference between pre-increment and post-increment? Post-increment and pre-increment. Is my question understand? If I write x plus also one value incremented. If I write plus plus i also one value incremented. Okay. So then where is the difference? Come on, come on. Either you take post increment or pre increment. There is no difference in say next line. In the next statement, if you read X value, no difference. Increased value you will get. Okay, this expression, this evaluation is in same line. In X plus plus line, plus plus Y line. Uh, now tell me, when you write X plus plus, what happened here? First X memory is created with value zero. X plus plus means first step, read existing value. This is a 10. Uh, read existing value and substitute. That means X plus plus replace with what 10. So X completed. Now immediately increase plus plus 10 increased by 11. And then expression evaluation is started with what value 10. But you are not using the 10 anywhere. Just it is dropped, leave, left. Everyone understand? Huh? Right. This is pre-increment. First step is what? Read. Second step is what? Substitute. Third step is what? Third step is what? Increase. And fourth step is evaluate expression. To evaluate expression, there is nothing left to evaluate. So just it is ignore and go into next line. Next line reading original value. I mean, next line reading incremented value 11. Click on rise button. Click on rise button and tell me is this point understand? Is this point understand? X plus plus means what? First increase. You see, X plus plus means a first read. Then substitute. Second step, don't forget substitute. Then uh, third step, increase. Fourth step, evaluate expression. Okay, now tell me. Here, plus plus y means what? Y variable memory. What the value? 20. Uh, first plus plus means what? What is their first plus plus means increase go to y memory existing value by 21 Second x. Okay, second and next step is what x now read x value now existing value uh, What the value existed second step read 21 Okay, now first reading 10 now it's reading 21. Then there is no incrementing. Directly use 21 in the expression. To use 21 in the expression, the expression is empty statement, single statement. So there is no effect. So now what the point now? If you wanted to see increment 
post increment pre increment operators effect uh, you must use with another expression okay it should not be a single statement you must use in another expression then effect you will get okay what are the points i'm explaining with pre increment post increment same points are applicable for pre decrement and post decrement is it clear i'm not going to cover both uh, i'm covering with the increment you practice with the decrement uh, tell me now i'm going to write one statement here <clears throat> okay i am writing one statement here observe i am reassigning x variable already created na i am reassigning x value with 1 now i am taking y equal to x plus plus okay y equal to x plus plus then i am writing here system dot out dot print ln x totally three three statements are there sir three cases are there this is a case one now variable assignment if i use increment operator as a variable assignment then what is the effect so tell me what is x value what is y value x value how much x value x value how much please write both output x and y both output you tell okay many people are telling 1 1 1 1 1 1 i don't know why you are telling 1 1 answer is 2 1 x value 2 y value 1 x value 2 y value 1 why y x value 2 y value 1 apply this theory and tell me i will waiting i will wait for you i'll be waiting for you okay so please apply this thought here and try to tell me why you get output 2 1 x value 2 y value 1 i am waiting come on all the people think all the people think why did you get output 2 1 read above points which operator i have used pre increment or post increment post increment and tell me what the meaning of post increment first y equal to y equal to uh, what do i write uh, first read value what is the x value first read value one substitute substituted okay read value substitute in the expression substitute then 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 increase okay x value increased by ambalo x value increased by 2 uh, first x value one increased by 2 so what the first step read x value substitute then increase the next evaluate expression then evaluate expression with old value so then what the y value 1 that's it hello all you understand uh? then next statement the 47 statement what the x value 2 what the y value 1 So why you confused? I don't know. Are you understand us? Still any questions? It's a confusion, sir. It's a confusion. You must come forward to ask questions. Uh, Priyanka, tell me what your confusion. Can you speak so that I can give clarity, better clarity? You can unmute. Priyanka, are you able to unmute or not? Mic problem, huh? Then how can I know you are a doubt? Where you know? Where you confused? How can I know? How x equal to two na plus plus? are assignment operator meant for storing result now faisal assignment operator is the last priority operator right assignment operator executing after increasing two only na plus plus operator not first assignment is not first executed it is executing a third step first step is what What is the first step? X memory created with what value one? First step, 
x is there means read value reading value one substituted assignment not executed first step just reading and substituted what the value coming one then plus plus go to plus plus go to x value existing value one increased by two this is second step okay now expression is evaluating third step assignment operator executed always last one what is the existing value substituted one then in y variable one is stored click on raise button and tell me still if you have questions ask me next step is very confusion raise button option not there okay just i written every step first read value x value readed substitute in expression x plus plus replace with one assignment operator not executed expression not evaluated then increment x value incremented the next word execute expression with old value okay execute expression with old value and now again i am reassigning please try to carefully answer x equal to 1 again reassigning plus plus x i am taking plus plus x now this time what is the output please try to apply apply algorithm you don't use your brain if you use your brain gaya wrong answers will come first plus plus a means what first increment and then read substitute substitute in expression then execute expression with incremented value mm, so tell me what is the x value what is y value first step plus plus x first plus plus should run 1 increased by 2 this is the step number 1 then reading second step read x value 2 substitute plus plus x replace with what 2 execute to x expression with 2 so what is the x value 2 what the y value 2 so plus plus operator x plus 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 x post increment p increment will definitely increase the variable value in the next line we'll get original values look at there both the places two coming where is the difference in expression post increment executed with original value pre increment executed with modified value simple baba this is your pocket this is you this is your pocket in your pocket money there okay na uh, now tell me in your pocket money there you are using mobile okay now tell me if the mobile is post paid post paid any effect to your pocket no okay you are using 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 and then but after use is completed on 31st day or 30th day now from your pocket effect is coming right next if it is a pre before using only effect is coming first modify then modified value you are using that's it so simple point uh, shall i give a second case once again please try to read what the meaning of pre increment and post increment pre increment means first increment first increase let me write like this first increase value and then read value substitute in expression execute expression with incremented value next a plus plus means means a post increment means first read value substitute in expression hello expression don't execute increment value where in the variable increment increase value increase value then 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 third step expression execution always third step then execute expression with old value 
Okay, now I'm giving one more case. Let me see how many people can answer correctly. Totally four cases are there. One case completed, second case. Again, I'm writing x equal to one. Okay, I'm writing x equal to one. Now, system dot out dot println x plus plus x. And tell me what is the output. Again, I'm taking x equal to one, x plus plus and x. What is the output? X plus plus value here, what will you get? One. And x value, what will you get? Two. Answer is one, two. I hope all you people are on the track. Everyone giving right answer. Wonderful, wonderful, marvelous. Okay, so one, two. Uh, next, tell me. I am writing again x equal to one. Wonderful. So if that is the way, if you work, operator's chapter, you will play like anything. Operator chapter will be under your control. Now, what is the output? Plus, plus x and x. First increase, then substitute. And use the substituted value. Answer is two, two. Answer is two, two. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Super. Everyone given right answer. Excellent here. So my efforts are successful. My efforts are successful. Super. Uh, now, now, can you please explain? Can you please explain again? X value, memory created with value one. X plus plus means what? First read. Who is there first? Uh, X. Read X value. Substitute here. That means X plus plus replace with one. It is not expression, not executed. Plus plus. One increased by two. Third step. Third step, this value is used. Expression executed with the value. Printl and displaying one. Then go down, x, x value existing value to two will come. Then again, x value is one. First two plus plus, increase the value by one. Then read the x value to give to expression. So output is two and x value anyways incremented two. Yeah, super, yeah, super, yeah, super. Uh, next, now again, one more case, ready? Case one completed. What the case one? Understanding basic idea, basic idea getting uh, what the meaning of x plus 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 x. Either you take post increment and pre increment, next statement you will get increased value. Then case number two, pre increment, post increment are having the difference in expression, expression evaluation in the same line. Next line, no difference in the same line difference. So y equal to x plus variable assignment. First case is variable assignment difference. Second case is passing as an argument. Printl and method or M1 method, whoever. Okay. Printl and method or M1 method passing as an argument is the expression evaluation. Uh, now, next, next case. Okay. Next case is a wonderful case. Uh, now I'm writing something like this. Observe. x equal to, oh sorry, again x equal to 1 I am writing. Now I am going to write a op y variable. You know, up to now we are using either plus plus x or um, uh, x plus plus, okay, individual. Now I am using combination x plus 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 x plus 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 x plus, okay x plus plus okay plus minus minus x plus x minus minus plus okay minus hello whenever you are using multiple plus you have to show the gap difference without gap if you write compiler confused which side plus plus should you consider it is getting error okay uh, minus uh, next uh, minus minus x plus okay minus minus x i have given a statement big statement like this now you try answering yourself and I will help you to answer also. Come on, come on, try, try yourself. First you try, later I'll help you.
what is the output you got what is x value what is y value system dot out dot print ln x y both i want what is x value x value 23 srinivas both x value 1 and y value 1 now how you people are getting y value 23 above okay let me run and see what is the output okay and then we will solve once control 1 control 2. x value is 1 y value 19 now you people work again again do calculation where you committed mistake find out how many operators are there totally three groups of operators assignment operator increment operator decrement operator addition operator subtraction operator four operators are there so which operator is having high priority less priority you should know assignment operator is always having less priority last priority now between addition and increment decrement and arithmetic operators which operator is having high priority you know is a first priority na so first you must evaluate left to right first you must evaluate pre increment post increment pre decrement post decrement okay you know all you know operators are having same priority na so first evaluate find result find replace the variables with their values replace the expression with their values and then use addition subtraction think 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 shall i help you shall i help you yeah shital i have seen your message okay i'm I, i'm getting your messages ah now tell me ah how to evaluate first step what i'll do i'll take paint so it will be better because many changes are there what i have written x equal to 1 right x equal to 1 ha huh. Now observe, story is little bigger. <laughs> you will enjoy like anything. That's what I'm telling. Always use pen and paper. <clears throat> First x value how much? One. How many steps are here? Totally three steps. First, increment, read, substitute, or read, substitute, increment. increment will be either first or last but real substitute is one after one x plus plus means what x plus plus means what first read read and substitute one okay then increment one replace with two uh, next what should i use plus plus x i should use old value or new value whatever value available right 
plus 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 means what first you increase to increase by 3 then read and substitute x value 2 sorry 3 okay plus you write between uh, next 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 plus 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 x what the meaning of plus plus x again first you increase 3 replace with 4 and then read substitute uh, x value how much 4 okay now plus x plus plus what the meaning of x plus plus first you read substitute first you read substitute what the value 4 and then increment 5 plus minus minus what the meaning of minus minus first you decrease 5 decrease by 4 and then read substitute what the value 4 how good topic it is very simple point unnecessary you confusing and next x minus minus meaning is what first first you read existing value 4 okay and then decrease 4 decreased by 3 okay good topic right very small topic ah, next minus next you have take minus 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 x first you decrease 3 decrease by 2 and then read x value substitute what 1 I sorry 2 use pen and paper many times I told you then plus plus minus minus first you decrease decrease 2 by 1 and then read substitute what the value 1 I pi how simple it is topic is very simple only thing is you must pay attention uh, now add first of all plus operators you must work all first plus operators are in the order they defined in the order in the order left to right all are plus or minus same priority they are having right uh, 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 4, 4 plus 4, 6, uh, 8, uh, 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 4, 16, uh, 16 plus 4, 20, 20 minus 2, 18, 18 plus 1, 19, y value 19, x value 1, okay? Everyone comfortable? Huh? How to work? Simple. Post increment means post increment means read read substitute increase evaluate pre increment means this is a post pre increment means first this increment will come here right? Huh? Pre increment means increase, then read, then substitute, then evaluate. Okay. Everyone understand? Uh, are you ready to answer one more question? I want a little torture you with many questions. Ready? Pre increment post increment operator command if you get if you get command and pre increment post increment concept bah, java under river control ray ratsa ratsa. look at here this program already we know x plus plus y minus minus right next plus plus x x plus plus already we know next x plus 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 x already we solved there is no confusion there and next with variable assignment understood no confusion 
Okay, I'll come to this question. This is danger question. Okay. Mm. Now answer. Yeah, there is a confusion. Even Sun Microsystem documents also telling that pre-increment, pre-increment is a first priority. Post-increment is next priority. If you follow this table, you get wrong answer. Theoretically, people are telling pre-increment is a first priority, post-increment next priority. If you follow these wrong answers, you will get. That's why, after seeing lot of test cases, I just stopped following it. I am following both are same priority. Left to right, whichever coming that I am executing. Okay, got it, Aditya? Narigal. So your point is right. People are telling post increment has last priority, but if you follow like this, you will get wrong answers. And now answer first question. All questions. So many test cases are there. You need to answer. First question answer. X value how much? Y value how much? So X value is one, Y value is four. Control one, control two. X value three, Y value four. <laughs> Many people are again started giving wrong answer. <laughs> Why you people are using your brain, Rana? Okay, Srin was twelfth class student has given correct answer. Okay, how did he get one row? X value, how can he get one row? Baba, is, is there any decrement here? Mr. Subham Nirvan, Subham Nirvan, tell me, is there any decrement here? Increment only, na? one time, two times incremented. So you will get different value compulsory. How did he get one? Yo. Huh? Shall we write? Again, still confusion people are having. X value 1. Then first, X plus plus. For X plus plus, what happened? First, read value, substitute 1. And then increase. 1 increased by 2. Plus. Plus plus X. What the meaning of plus plus X? First, increase 1 by 2. Oh, sorry, 2 by 3. Then use 3 here. Substitute. 1 plus 3, <coughs> y value 4. x value 3, y value 4. Just to simply follow like this. Okay, now let us follow the Sun Microsystem document or other faculty is giving document. What the output will get? Maybe I am evaluating wrong. Narigal, Narigal, please try to uh, tell me is your faculty explain the same way or not? Now, uh, first priority always giving pre increment x plus plus plus. Uh, now x value how much we are getting here one and now plus plus x plus plus x first evaluating now one increased by two and then reading first increased first increase then reading what value coming to plus okay then plus plus x plus plus x means first reading the x value reading x value two and then plus plus increasing three now here also we are getting output four y value 4, y value 4, and x value 3. Okay, 4, per th 4 3 we are getting. Okay. Same output, na? x value 3, y value 4. We got same output, right? Uh, right. So, which is uh, easy going on x plus 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 x. So, left to, to right, Tagadaga answering is fast. You know, that side sometime, this side sometime. Okay, we'll see that. 
okay we'll see that okay in all expressions it is working same output coming or not i don't know let us see uh, now tell me next second expression what is the output did you find what the x value you got here again initialize with one x value how much y value how much will follow textbook i mean sun microsystem document let's see one a uh, first you have to work with the pre increment operators all pre increment operators you have to work first okay pre increment plus plus x pre de pre pre decrement pre increment and tell me x value one increased by first one increased by two substitute two then decrease x value by one and then one plus plus x plus plus x uh, plus plus x increase two and substitute two plus 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 x minus minus plus x plus plus go plus x plus plus look at there how much time it is taking for our to calculate then x plus plus what the current value 2 read 2 increase by 1 plus 2 plus x plus plus read 1 increase by 1 2 plus x minus minus read 2 decrease by 1 1 plus 1 plus 2 okay then y value 2 plus 2 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then you now 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and y value 1 1 no 10 we got output by following this algorithm let's see what is coming output is 3 6 but i am getting output by following all pre increment operators first and post increment operators first next if you do we are getting output 1 or 10 any calculation mistake i did no na so that's why i am not following this okay now i am following our same priority order i'm not going pre increment post increment all the nonsense okay let's follow our algorithm x uh plus plus one value first what to do read one then increment read one and increment to two okay plus 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 x what the plus plus x first increase to increase by 3 increase by 3 then read 3 substitute uh the next plus x plus plus first read 3 then increase 4 plus x minus minus first read then decrease 3 plus 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 x first uh, decrease 2 then read 2 plus 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 x increase 1 3 and substitute 3 Okay, uh, now one plus three, four, seven, eleven, eleven uh, plus two, thirteen, thirteen plus six, six, thirteen plus three, sixteen. Okay, y value we got sixteen, and x value three. So total value, correct? Ah, three sixteen. Now look at there. So JVM algorithm, theoretically may be there. Okay, pre increment, post increment, priority difference. Uh, but uh, i tested many cases by considering providing the same priority i got correct answer so i am following this okay clear all you people have wait following this and now are you ready to answer next question just practice eh? just practicing bits that's all everything is same just practicing more bits so to give the full clarity to our brain come on all you people work
you know in a c language java language plus plus increment decrement operators outputs are different in c language there is a difference you don't get the same output like in c in java c increment operator java incrementing operator working in different there is a internally stack memory lot of things will be taken okay people who are attending c and java both they know the difference don't follow c style follow java style whatever i am giving the shortcut you follow it uh what is the output you confirmed x2 y0 subham bala bala shekara given wrong answer right x2 y0 so why you people are giving wrong answers here i don't know polachan tripathi you are giving answer 2 2 why wrong answers you are giving still not understand a simple i taken value one only i am making this increment decrement with small small values i don't know why you are giving wrong answers simple na calculation is very simple so maybe you are using your eyes if you are doing calculation by using eyes you will give wrong answer pakka i told you use pen and paper Use pen and paper, Rabbi. Don't feel lazy, Rabbi. After these many test cases, also if you are giving wrong answers, you know, really, it's very bad. X value one. Ah, uh, what is the output you got? X value two, Y value zero. Okay. Now tell me, plus plus X means what? First to increase two. Then read to plus minus minus x. First you decrease one. Then plus plus x na na. First you increase and then read na. Correct na. Plus plus x. First you increase, then read to plus minus minus x. Uh, what the minus minus x? First you decrease, then read one. Uh, then next minus x minus minus. Uh, now first you read the existing value one, then decrease zero. Plus x plus plus. What the x plus plus? Increase the first. You read the value. Read the value zero. Then increase the value one. Right? Minus plus plus x. Now tell me what the plus plus x? Increase the value first to two. Then read the value two. Okay. I did a mistake earlier. Ah. Huh? Okay. Now correctly come. Right. Ah, uh, now tell me now. Two plus one, three. Minus one, two. Plus zero, two. Two minus two, zero. Yeah. Okay, now tell me. All of them correctly working as we expected. X value two, Y value zero. So when pre-increment, post-increment operator-based assignments given in the iterative room. Don't just one time do calculation. Two times you do, okay? Cross verify. Two times you do. Pen and paper you use. Carefully work. Aram se work in the exam. It is a confusion bit, okay? Compulsory will ask. Aram se two to three times you confirm it. No problem. Ah, uh, then last point. Come on. Last bit, little bit lengthy. Let's see how many people. I'm expecting all people should give right answer. Okay. 
don't feel lazy expecting all the people give correct answer Ah, did you find output? Compile, execute. X value four, Y value fifteen. Some people got three sixteen also. One number decreased to X, one number increased to Y. <laughs> okay, simple additions, Baba. Simple additions, na na. Four fifteen. A small number increase decrease at that side. This side, if you add, Gaya, answer will be different. Answer is four fifteen. I hope I no need to explain again. Huh? Should I explain again? You only try yourself. Correct your mistake. If I explain every time, you will feel that. Okay, every time you depend on me. You try yourself. Okay, answer is four to fifteen. Why four fifteen came? You try to question. I tell me answer this question next. Hmm. Tell me what is output? Compile, execute. Output is two comma four. X value two, Y value four. Okay. Anisha, you got two two na. Check once. You typed wrong or what? Here X value increased by one. In the next calculation, what value we used? One or two na? Two. Right, you have to use a two in the calculation. Okay, so if you do mistake, please correct yourself. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll help you. No problem. And now look at this. I want you only work yourself. Reading array, no array. Minimum idea in array, you know how to read the values from the array. What is the i value? What is number value?
completed a what is the i value i value is 3 number is 15 na huh? okay let me test compile execute i value 3 number value is 15 a uh, wonderful yeah, excellent i have a question do you know right bracket operator is meant for bracket bracket operator is meant for executing uh, you know first priority will it consider first priority okay so now i'll explain this program please try to understand how do you get output what the output we got control 1 control 2 3 and 15 how did you get output 3 and 15 i'll explain it ah uh, look at here here array object what is the i value first you need to understand right i variable value zero number variable value nothing okay a a mean this is zero index one index two index a plus plus i means what first you increase one right uh, then read so what is substituted here a of one right a uh, a of one plus 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 i plus plus i means what first you increase two then read value substitute plus 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 i value what two plus bracket plus plus i uh, now again go and increase two increase by three read three value and substitute now what the output you are getting three understand a uh? this bracket will not be no effect this bracket doesn't have any effect with the plus plus because plus plus is a first priority na inga where you change the priority of with the bracket are i have assigned i equal to 0 ra babu manikanta i created i variable with 0 na what is your question how can i create in single line you are asking yeah you can declare multiple variables in single line no problem na i int variable type is i variable type is int this int apply to all the variables you have mentioned here okay it's valid syntax uh, now tell me a of one value what 10 plus 2 plus 3 total result is 15 Okay, can I hope all you people understand? Uh, now, same program for your practice purpose. I have given in different way. I equal to num equal to zero. So I var I variable value num variable value replace with zero, and now work. Same program for your practice. I have given same bit one more time. Answer answer. Okay, did you find answer? Control one, compile. Control two, execute. Output is three eight. Wonderful. Majority people give an answer three eight. Some people give a wrong answer. Please question yourself why did you give wrong answer? Where you commit a mistake? Just check yourself. completed a huh? cloud uh, after coach java completed you can join cloud your wish salesforce aws you can learn
cloud compute and tell me what the flow of execution here and now int i equal to num equal to 0 i variable value how much 0 right and num variable value also how much 0 uh, right so tell me now here first i plus plus what is the meaning of i plus plus first you read and substitute a value memory a of 0 what will come 0 then increase by 1 then plus plus i plus plus first read 1 then increase 2 right plus i plus plus first read 2 first read first read substitute then increase 3 right a of 0 this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 5 plus 1 plus 2 5 plus 3 8 0 replace with 8 understand this is how you have to evaluate Priya you can start practicing hacker rank questions. Operators along with the operator chapter, you can start working with hacker rank. Can I hope all the people got clarity on today class? We discussed increment decrement operators plus plus minus minus pre increment post increment pre increment plus plus x post increment x plus plus decrement pre decrement post decrement minus minus pre x minus minus post okay so take the screenshot of this take screenshot of this okay then next this one next this one this one And this one, I'm giving screenshots in reverse order. And uh, test case program. Yeah, I'll give once again, please, current slides you take. And these are slides, evaluation, test case. This is wrong. Don't follow. Pre-increment uh, first to post-increment next. It's the wrong. Wrong answer coming. Don't follow. The next solving area question. Giving suggestions to Sun Microsystem. I don't know. Their algorithm may be correct. Okay. According to their algorithm, maybe I don't understand. According to my algorithm, I understood. I'm implementing and correct coming correct answers. Okay. Maybe their point of view also may be right. Okay, once again, slides I'm giving, any of you want, you can take. One, two, three, four, five, eight. And now, six. So still I need more half an hour to complete increment decrement operators. Okay. So we'll see in tomorrow class because you have class now. Na? Okay. Thank you all. And practice this pre increment decrement operators. Tomorrow class is little horrible if you don't practice. Okay. Practice and come. Thank you. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed today class. Learn some new points. Arithmetic operators explanation time <clears throat> you all people feel and eh, nothing there nothing there already a no point But now slowly slowly yesterday class today class you find so many new points more new points you are going to get in tomorrow class Okay, thank you practice well and come